Where are you? I'm in between places, I don't... Mm-hmm. Describe for me where you are. Look around you. I'm trying to get back to a past life. Mm-hmm. So look around and see what you see. Describe it for me. I see... Woods. I see woods. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else do you see? It's in the country. In the country. Describe these woods for me. Yeah, Are they green and mm -hmm. trees? And there's nobody around. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this place, or are you spirit? I think I'm not sure. I can. I can. See it, but I'm not sure whether mm -hmm. to buy. Okay. So let's see if we can travel through this these woods and see what we find there. Allow yourself to move, if able to. And tell me, are you at a distance that you are at ground level, or are you above the trees? I'm sort of in between. Mm hmm. From what perspective do you see it? Just, there's no one there. That's all I see is mm -hmm. trees. Just trees. How do you feel in those trees? Oh, um, okay. You know, nothing special. Just, mm -hmm. just there. Mm -hmm. So let's see why it is that you're in this place. Let's observe some more. And let's see what happens next in the scene. Allow the scene to just progress as quickly as you can and allow the next scene to show up. What do you see now? I see like it's not real clear but mm -hmm. like a town with houses. A town with houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Describe these houses for me. Are they modern houses? No. What are they made out of? Wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, wood. Mm -hmm. And is this a very populated place or is it sparse? It, I think it's sparse. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any people yet. Does this place look abandoned? No. Mm -hmm. From what level are you looking at it? Are you looking at it from um, the ground? I'm a little bit off the ground. Huh? Okay. So let's see if we can get closer to those houses. Allow yourself to get closer. And tell me where you are. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. This is just a town someplace. Mm -hmm. Can you get close enough to look in a window? Or go inside? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can move in this place? I think so. Mm -hmm. So let's try to move. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can tell me where you go. I'm trying to move, but I can't move. Mm -hmm. Now take a Take a feel of your body and see if you could feel something there. You may want to look down to see if you get an image of something. Do you feel that you have a body? No. Do you feel that you're spirit? Yes, probably. Mm. All right. So if you're spirit, you can move. Allow yourself to move forward or backwards. Allow yourself that freedom of moving. Mm. And tell me how it feels. I can see buildings, but mm. they're not real clear. That's fine. And they're not real clear at all, but there's a like a dirt road. Mm-hmm. A dirt road. Mm -hmm. And this dirt road, is there, is it 
surrounded by anything? Just, just like a center of a town. A center of a town. Mm -hmm. And have you seen this type of town before? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. What are the houses made out of? Wood. Mm -hmm. Are these large houses or small houses? I think they're, they're not real clear, but they're small. Mm -hmm. Do they have any color to them? Mm, they're, they're like natural wood color. Mm -hmm. And in this place where you are, does it feel like this place gets cold? Or is it a warm, tropical place? It's, it's like springtime. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's see where you go to next. Allow yourself to drift and float to another scene where there's information that will help you. Allow yourself to drift. What do you see now? The more you talk, the more you'll see. Mm -hmm. I think I see like maybe a Civil War soldier. Civil War soldiers. Mm -hmm. There's not a, just one or two, or mm -hmm. not real clear. But Use all of your senses. Not real clear. They got. A blue hat. Mm-hmm. Blue hat. What else do they have? Yeah. As you focus, it becomes clear. Carrying guns. Mm -hmm. I see one or two of them. Mm-hmm. So. Tell me more. And it's just they're just standing there, not really doing anything. Mm-hmm. So I'd like you to get closer. Get closer to them. Allow yourself to drift closer and closer. And tell me what you see. I think I see a wagon. A wagon? Mm-hmm. What's in this wagon? Just... It's like a small covered wagon. Mm-hmm. And what do you feel is in this wagon? Use all of your senses. It's got cover on it. I really can't see in it. Use your other senses, your spirit. What do you know is in this wagon? I think probably maybe military supplies of mm -hmm. some kind. Very good. So let's see why it's important to see this scene. Let's find out the significance of this lifetime. I want you to get closer to these soldiers. And as you get closer, feel yourself just absorbing with the one that feels most similar to you. Feel yourself just acclimating, going in through the body and looking out through his eyes. They're just standing there, nothing mm -hmm. really going on. So get closer to him. And you can absorb your spirit into one of them. Now I see a couple horses on the wagon. Horses on the wagon, very good. Tell me more. It's still nothing happening. This mm -hmm. It's in the middle of a town. So let's fast forward this, close the scene now, close it like a book, and when you open it up again, you'll be in a significant time. Something important has just happened to these soldiers. Open it up again, and you'll find yourself in another important time in that lifetime. Where are you? I can't move out of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, You're in the same scene? Same scene, it won't mm -hmm. move. Okay. So something important is in that scene. Let's find out what's there. 
Allow yourself to just visualize all of this. Use all of your senses and let's find out what happens. Tell me what happens next. Really, I can't get out of that scene. I can't. Mm -hmm. What emotions are you feeling as you're watching this? Just like a familiar surroundings. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Just can't tell where, you know, it's just I can't tell where the town's located or anything. Mm -hmm. Do you have, do you feel physical in this, in this place? I feel like I'm just watching it. You're an observer? Observer. Okay. So as an observer, well, you can actually observe what happens to the scene. As an observer, it's up to you to move the scene forward. So let's see what happens. Observe the scene as an outsider. Outsider. Mm-hmm. You can even pan out a little bit and see if there's any anybody around them further down the road or in the next village or town. Let's see what happens in this place. What do you feel? I can hear some noises now, like mm -hmm. horses. And Very good. Moving around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a few people. Mm -hmm. That wagon and and a couple of houses. That's I can't seem to get out of that. That's fine. Don't edit and don't judge. Just enjoy it. Allow yourself to just view and report. Tell me what happens. Where are these horses coming from? Uh, they're, they're just the ones that are on, are on the wagon. Mm -hmm. So be there. Acclimate yourself to this place. Feel all of this scenery surrounding you as you become one with it. And as you acclimate to this place, you'll be able to. I see a few, a few more soldiers, mm -hmm. but they they're just there and not really doing anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, military know. life can be very boring at times, can't it? Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. So as you're watching this, can you sense what these soldiers are feeling? What can you imagine that they're feeling? I think I think it's probably in the middle of a war. Mm -hmm. But it's not a battle or anything going on. Do you feel that these soldiers are in their own home territory? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do they feel safe? I think at this particular point, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And do you feel that maybe they're waiting for something? Mm, yes, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. So let's advance the scene to where something is happening, where whatever they were waiting for has arrived. View that scene. Allow it to just take over the picture. Where are you now? I'm still in the same place. Mm -hmm. I can hear noises. Mm -hmm. People are talking, but I can't hear what they're saying. Mm -hmm. 
that's fine. Let's see where, where these noises are coming from. Use all of your senses. Just like when you walk into a dark room, you can know that there's somebody there, or there's furniture. You use other senses. I want you to use those other senses to connect. What do you sense is happening here? There's people talking. I still can't get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. They're just... Connect telepathically with your mind. Don't use your ears. Mind to mind. Your spirit now, traveling. Everything is done telepathically. You know how to use this. You've used it through your entire existence. Connect. Allow thoughts to come. Allow the knowing to come. What do you know is happening here? I can't get anything yet. Mm -hmm. I'll try. And... Well, the more you try, the harder it is. <laughs> you have to allow it to come. Allow it to just pop into your head. That's when you know something's happening. What else do you see in this scene? I can't get out of the one scene, just the houses and the mm -hmm. wagon and the couple soldiers and the horses. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we're going or anything. Mm -hmm. Let's try to move. Now you say that you don't have a body. No. Are you able to move around and see things from different perspective? Mm -hmm. Or are you stuck in one place? I'm just sort of stuck mm -hmm. in one place. Let me ask you something. Do you feel that you could possibly be something that belongs in this place? Something solid that can't move? No, I feel like I'm out of my, out of a body and mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just there observing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And do you feel as you're observing there's some sort of anticipation? Mm. Or curiosity? Give me a feeling for that. I can't. I'm trying to... No, it's a, they're just there and mm -hmm. nothing's going on. Mm-hmm. Could it be possibly that you are stuck in this place and not able to leave? It's a possibility. Mm-hmm. So let's find out how it is that you got to this place. Let's go back in time as the spirit and find out why you can't leave this place. Play along with me. Okay. I want you to go back in time and see who you were before you were a spirit. Go back in time. See who you were. See yourself in a body. See yourself as the last time you had a body. What were the circumstances? I think I see myself in a military uniform, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. pretty sure. Are you walking or are you on the ground? I'm walking. Yes, very good. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? 20 years old. Mm-hmm. And are you by yourself or are there others around you? Take There's look. others nearby. Mm-hmm. Are you carrying anything? I think I have a rifle. Mm-hmm. Look around now. Tell me where you are. I'm in the same town now. I think I see some women and mm -hmm. children. Very good. Very good. 
So let's see what it is that you're doing there. Let's find out what you're doing there. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? I don't know. Can you sense a name? No. Mm -hmm. As you're in this uniform, do you feel that you like being in this uniform? No, I don't like being in the uniform. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? I feel like, you know, I don't like the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's around you now. Where are you going? I'm still on the same road. Mm -hmm. Just walking around. And as you look out through the eyes of this soldier, who's around you? How many people do you see? Eight, ten, fifteen mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And are these people that you feel comfortable with? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in, it's it's it, it's in a town. I, you mm -hmm. know, I, I, I don't think it's a military base or anything. It's just if we're all in the, all in this town. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this is your town or a town that you're walking through? I may have lived there. I don't mm -hmm. know. Much. So let's find out. Let's find out where it is that you live. I want you to close that scene and find yourself in front of the house where you live. You tell me what it looks like. Uh, just, just a house on the street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's like it made out of? Out of wood. Mm-hmm. How do you get into this house? Well, I can see the front door. Mm-hmm. Let's go into this house and see what's in there. Let's see who lives there. Okay. We'll go in. Let's see. Like a living room on one side. Mm-hmm. And we'll go straight ahead. I think I see a kitchen. Mm-hmm. But there's nobody there. Just me. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you live in this place by yourself? I think there's other people there. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. I'm, you know, I'm not... But I'm, I'm, that's all. I don't see any of them at this time. Okay. So let's close that scene and let's open it up in a time when you're eating a meal there. Okay. See yourself eating a meal. Okay. And tell me what's in front of you as you're eating. I see. I see a um, man and a woman. Mm-hmm. And a couple children. Mm-hmm. Who do you feel these people are? Well, I think they're probably my family. Mm-hmm. And look down on your plate. What are you eating? It looks like some kind of stew. Mm-hmm. And it's probably, it's probably, it's probably my mother and father. Mm-hmm. And maybe a couple younger brothers or brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. Look into their eyes. Look all around your family and see if you recognize any of those mothers or fathers or siblings. Look into their eyes. That's the window to their soul. See if you recognize them in the life of Tom. They're, they're dressed in... I don't know, mid, mid, civil, you know, civil mm -hmm. war or clothes. Yes. And uh, I guess we're just sitting there having dinner. Mm hmm Do any of them look familiar? No. Okay, very good, very good. So now that we've established that you're there, I want you now to close that scene and go to another important scene in that same lifetime. See you closing that book and opening it to another scene in that same lifetime. Something important is happening.
What do you see? I see. It's like an army camp. Mm-hmm. And a whole bunch of soldiers and horses. And mm-hmm. I see tents. And, you know, it's like a good sized camp. And what are you doing there? I'm just observing. Like, you know, I'm, I guess I'm part of the group. Mm hmm. I want you to go into your feelings and tell me how you feel being there. Well, I feel I don't like being in the Army. Mm hmm. So let's see what happens there. I want you to advance the scene and tell me what happens in this place. In the same place? Mm hmm. Now, yeah, let's see, I'll walk around the camp a little bit. Mm hmm. It's really, it's like they're getting ready to go someplace, or you know, I'm, not, I'm not sure, you know, maybe they're going to march off someplace, but it's mm -hmm. definitely. A, but you don't like it there. It's a, no, it's a large group of people. Mm hmm. Very good. Let's now skip forward to when something does happen. You know how to do it now. Close that scene and move to a time when something is happening. Where are you? I think we're headed maybe towards the battle. I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not sure, but. Mm -hmm. Are you on foot? Yes. Mm hmm And how do your uniforms look? Do they look new or they look old? New. Mm hmm Do you feel like you've been in battle before? No. Okay. How does it feel to think that you're going to battle? It's not good. Mm hmm What kind of feelings in your gut do you feel? I feel I don't want to be there. Mm hmm So let's see what happens. Advance the scene. Mm. We're just moving down a road mm -hmm. as far as I can get right now. I don't know where it is, but I, th I think it's in the north somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel you are? Where, where do I feel I am? Mm -hmm. I think maybe New York. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in New York. Mm -hmm. And what's the temperature like now? It's springtime or maybe in the fall. Mm -hmm. The temperature is comfortable? Yes. Very good. So let's advance the scene even more. Where are you now? I feel like a bit Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. It's popped into my head. Very good. What's happening around you? Starting to get emotional about it. Mm -hmm. Allow the feelings to flow. Battle coming on. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. It's about to begin. As far as I can get with it. Mm -hmm. What's happening around you? It's just people running all around. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm just with the group, getting ready. I'm really having a 
Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. What's happening? <sighs> Nothing yet, but it's, I think it's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind as this is happening? I think it's going to be bad. Mm -hmm. How do you know this? Because uh, well, I hear cannons off in the distance. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's scary. Tell me what's happening. Uh, I'm right here with you. I can't go. I don't, I don't know if I can go beyond this. Huh? Tell me everything that you see. Uh, I see people moving around at this point. There's no battle, but I think we're, we're probably headed that way. Mm -hmm. How many are in your troop? Let's see. A small group around me. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I think we're getting ready for something, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Are you equipped with something? Does this have a rifle? Mm -hmm. Is it loaded now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're thinking and feeling. I hear cannons off in the distance. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta get up and go to the bathroom. All right. Is that okay? So I'm gonna, in a moment, I'm gonna touch your shoulders, and mm -hmm. when I do, you'll open your eyes, you'll go mm -hmm. to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And when you come back, you'll go even deeper than you mm -hmm. are right now. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Open your eyes. Oh. Be there now. You're back in Gettysburg. Tell me what's happening. Shooting going on. I mean, Devil's Den comes in. The mm -hmm. Devil's that was Devil's Den. Devil's Den. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this place. There's this shooting going all around. And where are you? What are you doing? I'm not shooting yet. I'm just in the middle of it all. Mm -hmm. Now I think I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. Who are you shooting at? The rebels. Mm -hmm. Are these rebels dressed in any way that you can recognize them as rebels? Yeah, like like I would in the history books. Mm -hmm. They're kind of tattered looking. Uniforms aren't, really aren't that good of uniforms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we were a lot better equipped, a lot better equipment than they had. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening. Feel yourself this, fully there. Just a lot. I want you to connect down deep into your emotions now. So 
tell me what you're feeling. I think somebody just got shot right next to me. Mm-hmm. There's screaming and shouting going on. Mm-hmm. Gunshots. What position are you in? Are you standing or are you lower to the ground? Lower to the ground. Mm -hmm. How are you protecting yourself? Um, I think I'm behind a rock. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's a lot of people there. There's a, a lot of noise. What kind of noise do you hear? Gunshots and screaming. Mm -hmm. I can smell smoke. It's just not good. I can't get a real good clear picture, but I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Are you close to the action or are you far away? I'm in the middle of it. Mm. Do you feel things going on all around you? Yes. Mm -hmm. People screaming. I hear horses and people running around. It's just it's chaos. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. I can't get beyond where I am right now with it. It's the same scene. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. I can't seem to be, can't be the Get beyond this scene. Mm -hmm. to... It's just gunshots and smoke. Mm -hmm. I can hear horses. Allow yourself to advance to see what happens. You can see it as an observer. You don't have to be in the body. Now I see the town of Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. Just a small farm town. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm walking around. Mm -hmm. Maybe the battle's over at this point. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or with others? I think I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. Nobody's close by. Take a look and see if you have a body there. Yeah, I can see my blue uniform. Mm -hmm. Still on that. Mm -hmm. What happened to everybody else? They're just, I don't see anybody nearby at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you separated from everybody. Let's find out why you're by yourself. Go back and see what happened. What's going on? I can't tell. I can't. I can't. Get out of the last scene. Mm -hmm. Go to the moment where you took your last breath. My last breath? Mm -hmm. The dying breath? Or this mm -hmm. I took my last dying breath. Go to the last scene of your life there. I don't think I died there. Okay. I think the I think the battle's over and I'm All right. walking around. 
Okay. But you're by yourself. By myself. There's nobody nearby. Mm hmm What happened to the others? What do you know happened to them? I don't know. I got the one scene, the person next to me got shot. Mm -hmm. That's all I got out of that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you left that place? I left the battle. Mm -hmm. Battle's over. Okay. I can't go beyond that. All right. But let's find out what happens. What's the last day of your life in that lifetime? Last day of my life in that lifetime. Mm-hmm. Fast forward. Tell me where you are. Oh. Look around you. I'm in a house. Mm-hmm. I think I'm very old and okay. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you where it was. Mm -hmm. Who's around you? Hmm. I see a couple of people, but I don't know who they are. Okay. I see a woman. She's got a long dress on. Mm -hmm. And how are you dressed? I'm in bed. I'm. I think I may be dying. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm sick. I'm. I'm in the bed. Mm -hmm. I don't know the period of time. I think I'm pretty old. All right. So that puts us probably into the 20th century somewhere. I would think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Don't analyze it. Mm. Just. Report it. Mm -hmm. Now go to the last breath of your life there. And as you're dying, I want you to look back at your life and tell me what were you thinking about as you're dying? What's going through your head? I think I had a family. Mm -hmm. I see a wife. Mm -hmm. And it looks like some grown children. Mm -hmm. But they're not. That's a different scene from where I'm dying. That mm -hmm. Those back. are your memories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you look through those memories of your life as you're dying, what are your thoughts going through? How do you feel? I think I had a pretty good life. Mm hmm. I think, I think I may have been a farmer. Mm-hmm. It popped into my head. Mm -hmm. This stuff is just popping into my head. Perfect. You're doing mm -hmm. a great job. Mm-hmm. You lived a pretty good life. I, th I, th I think so. And those scenes, like I told you before, mm -hmm. familiar scenes, mm -hmm. it's the same kind of area I lived in. Mm-hmm. So take your last breath now and transition out of that body. And as you leave that body behind, tell me, what was the mission of that life? What do you feel that you were there to do? Just to try to lead a good life. Mm -hmm. Be a good person. Mm -hmm. I think I probably wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. What lessons did you learn, if any? What comes to mind? I can't think of anything. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you were courageous in that life? Not really. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you were a survivor? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, we know I survived the Civil War if I got to this mm -hmm. last yes. point. I don't know 
the time period or anything, but it's, mm -hmm. I think I was old. Mm -hmm. Old then, but it probably might have been 60. Mm -hmm. Nobody lived that long in those days. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's transition out of that body. Allow yourself to float out beyond that body. And as you leave that body behind, I'd like to ask this personality how it is that you're affecting the life of Tom now. How do you feel that you've affected him? Well, I know in this life, when it came to time for the military, everybody within the army, for some reason, I hated the Army. I didn't want anything to do with the Army. Mm -hmm. And I joined the Navy. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably why. Yeah, because you were affecting him through that. Yeah. yeah. You were remembering mm -hmm. that that's not what you wanted to see anymore. No. Very good. Do you have any, any advice to give him? Old time or new time? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you, the, the advice from the Civil War personality. Civil War. What would you like to tell Tom? What advice do you get? Do you have for him since you lived a very old life? If, do the best you can. Try to live a good life. Mm -hmm. Do all you can do. Very good. Back on the beach. Mm -hmm. Back on the beach again. Mm -hmm. See yourself back on that beach with the waves crashing. See the white caps on the water. Feel the breeze on your face. And as you enjoy that beautiful sensation again that you like so much, I'm going to bring you back with that feeling. Feel every bit of your body with that beautiful sensation of relaxation. And while you enjoy that sensation, I'm going to count from one to five. And with each number, you'll feel yourself waking up more and more. And when I get to number five, you'll open your eyes and wake up with complete control of your mind and your body. Very happy about this experience. The happiest man in the universe. <laughs> one, beginning to wake up now. Two, feeling peace and love. You'll remember everything you need to remember for your well-being. And everything that you remember when you wake up will be relived with infinite love. Understanding that this is part of the process. Three, tonight and each night when you go to sleep and put your head on the pillow, you'll sleep soundly and deeply until the next day, until your normal waking time. And while you sleep, you'll meet with your guides and get information to help you in the very best way in this lifetime. Your dreams will be pleasant and re repairing will heal you and each day you'll feel a better sensation of happiness Four, you feel light as a feather feeling wonderful all over you feel as if each cell each nerve each part of your being is being filled with love energy and vitality you feel as if a rush of cool spring water has just gone over your face five wide awake now wide awake feeling wonderful all over <laughs> That was quite an experience. It was. <laughs> Tell me about it. What do you feel? Oh. Nothing that you expected, was it? Mm -hmm. I was in the Civil War. I mean, it just like I was there. I was crying. It, you know, it was scary. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were feeling the emotions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do you see there. how it was affecting you now? It seems to have been something that, as you listen to this recording and you go over that experience, mm -hmm. You will see how you've been carrying that with you. Mm -hmm. And everything that has been happening in this life kind of correlates back to that mm -hmm. life. It seems to have really been something that scared you mm -hmm. and you formed a lot of ideas about life from that mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. You know, being resentful that you had to be in that situation, mm -hmm. not wanting to be there, being mm -hmm. afraid, seeing your, your, friends being mm -hmm. killed next mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. and as you're living now this life it's almost like you're seeing these friends dying yeah and you're in the same position it's like mm -hmm. i don't want to why why am i yeah why am i still here yeah. 
you know. Oh, the, whole, the whole group of us in boat races for Civil War veterans. Yes, exactly. Mm. So you could see how mm. you've all kind of come back again mm. just to to be in the same situation. Mm. And, you know, we all cho choose our fate. Mm. So how does that feel? How does, your, how does your body and your emotions feel now? Do you feel at peace with it? I'm more peaceful than I was when I came in here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and so now you understand. I'll be a better person now, maybe. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, it's up to you. It's mm -hmm. up to you. Mm -hmm. So, do you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to get my wife to do this. <laughs> well, when why not? When are, you, when are you coming back to Dallas? We'll again? have to put you on a waiting list to see who wants to come back to Dallas. <laughs> but it was very, very um, interesting. Well, would we, you get, we get down to Florida once in a while. So, yeah. Um, you could do that. Yeah. Is do, would you want to share some of this video with anybody, or you want to keep it private? We, uh, this is certain friends I'd show it to you. If you want to put it on your, mm -hmm. you know, website, I don't care. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Well, we could put the part about the Civil War. I think that was very, that was good. Yeah. That was good. How you mm -hmm. felt it. So mm -hmm. there's other parts that mm -hmm. really. Uh, there was a lot of resistance, that's for sure, at the oh. beginning. Mm. But you finally got into it. Yeah. It took a while to get yeah. into there. Yeah. Well, some people it takes longer than others to get into. Yeah. That. Well, when I when we first started with that, um, my feeling was almost like you were a, a spirit mm -hmm. watching, mm -hmm. and maybe you had died there. Mm. You know, that was my mm -hmm. as, as an observer. You were watching, but then as I took you back, I was like watching in the town. Yes, but you were watching it, but you were not in it. I was in this. I was, it was. I ain't, I ain't told you the battle, the Devil's Den. That was a yeah. major battle. Yeah. Did you Did you know about that battle? Uh, well, yeah, it's a famous battle. Mm -hmm. But you picked it out. It, it, it just came into my mind. Yes. Which is and that's how it works. What's supposed to happen? That's what it. That's mm. how it happens. It just. Mm. You you see the images and and you feel it. Good. How did the selenite work for you? Good. 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 This is good stone to connect you. Excellent. So, so you're gonna put the Civil War thing on your website. I think, I think that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. I sure. haven't had that before. You, know, you never had another Civil War person. I haven't had the Civil War. I've had other wars. Yeah, but it's funny how I sort of had a all my life like. Like, like you daydream, and I, yes. I, I, I'm walking down, a, marching down a road in the Civil That's War, and have it like all in Cooperstown, New York, oh, wow. and it's real, you know, the familiar. terrain looks real familiar around there. We did it. We did it. <laughs> so Tom, we had a very interesting experience. How was the part with the the battle? How did that feel to you? It was scary. It really. was so scary. You got up and. <laughs> yeah, good thing I didn't go right here. I know, that's how scared it was. I had to go in the middle of the battle. <laughs> Let's stop the battle. So you were really feeling I got everything. emotional about it. Yes, you know. yeah. So how does how do you feel that this experience helped you? It sort of clarifies a few things. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, you have been going through that area and feeling very familiar with it. Mm -hmm. and you said you had kind of daydreams about it. Mm -hmm. So now you know where it's coming from. And then the, the kid thing when I was 10 years old with all the Civil War hats and uh -huh. all, half of Bethesda, 90% of them have Confederate hats. They were probably in the Confederate Army and uh -huh. two or three of us had the Union hats. So you always wore the Union hats. Yeah, that, it came from something. That, 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 <laughs> very good, it. very good. That, 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 so um, thank you very much for participating. Well, thank you, Alba. Thank you. And uh, if you would like a session with me in Miami or somewhere around the country, you could just uh, find me on my website, on your website yeah. albawyman.com. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Till the next time. Bye. <laughs>